Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back with 105th fifth place by me -e me Meme. What is it? Whatever. Pint House Powerhouse. Score of 16.75. Here we go. Oh, hey, we have music this time. What is... Can I kill that enemy? Yes, but not very easy. Okay, so anywhere that this thing... It... They respawn. So anywhere that that thing is... is where that What did I just kill? And the little turbine guy... We reached a checkpoint, got a whole bunch of health. How much health were you expecting me to lose here? This stage is a bit of a mess. Take the bullets. Okay, so the ballerina mats. I feel like those guys are just kind of there just because they were there. Alright, let's salt water. I was not expecting that to make explosions. I like that weapon. Uh, yeah, weapons make this more interesting. I don't understand these... Oh, oh, I know what these are. These are not the Sparkman platforms. These were in Mercury's stage in uh, Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. Really, you can just fall through that? Oh, I didn't know that was background. Okay, these screens are like just a cluttered mess. Okay, where can I actually... Why could I fall through that? There's no consistency. I appreciate not just sticking to... What's you... Why is there an X there? Oh gosh. Nope, that's not actually safe. Okay, but the spikes aren't instant death, but... Again, given way more health than we could possibly need. And we have a time bomb chain for some reason, which I did poorly. Oh, we have a boss! Mini boss. Alright, let's hit you up in the air with our shield weapon. This thing was from Mega Man 3. I can also use the springs. There's a lot going on in this room. Okay, you are not weak to that. Are you weak to homing missile? Not really. Not weak to that. How did I manage to miss everything with that? Okay, weak to spark shock. Noted. I appreciate the abnormal boss fight room. 
That's probably kind of the highlight of this, although it was a little bit uh, messy, but uh, I guess the, the boss fight room wasn't that bad. When you start a level and you immediately see a placeholder graphics on the spawn point, you know you're in for a rough ride. Honestly, the level is just a mess of dense rooms. Kind of the same thing I said. Me and Parmesan, like, we've got this thing going on. We both like cheese. We both kind of think about the same sort of uh, thing when evaluating these stages. We're basically brothers at this point. Uh, box assets should be the highlight of the level, not just included. There are so many assets that when the level's over, you really have no idea what the focus is. Speaking of lack of focus, the graphics are all over the place, and most don't even look great or complete. The rooms are also really dense throughout the whole level, and dense can be good, but it doesn't really work here. The whole level is hard to look at and parse because so much is going on all the time. This feels like either a first level or a rush job, so I truly hope when you go on to make bigger and better things, you can see this as one of those weird first attempts. Congratulations, you made me feel claustrophobic. Is a pint house like a bar for people who are too classy for bars but too poor for gastropubs? And if so, does that make the spring head the bouncer? Thinking emoji. Uh, at least the title reflects the level itself. Perplexing and not in a good way. Still, strictly speaking, it does do some minor things, right? You get one point in aesthetics for actually including a visual tell for where the up and downs spawn. You get three points in creativity for the giant Susie fight, which was kind of interesting. Hey, that's kind of what I said too. Uh, then you lose a point in functionality for Susie spending half the fight chilling at the top right corner. And you get one point in design for plastering health pickups everywhere. But yeah, bluntly, this was a mess. The kind of level where the judges just write Y and give it zeros and everything. And the common commentariat thinks they've given a fair assessment. Uh, what on earth was that? I don't even know if I need to go over what that was, because I think 99% of the people who play this level will just echo the same thoughts. Uh, but just in case, let's just hit the bullet points. Ugly, nonsensical enemy placement, enough health to fully heal Mega Man twice over, a box elements that hardly matter, floors you're supposed to fall through despite being floors, and just things thrown in rooms with little to no thought. Yep. I just have a natural tendency to want to shoot those. <laughs> Alright, Picado 24. You can earn 100 bolts for finishing Sarge's training simulation on the upper deck. Have you been there yet? Oh crap, I was supposed to do that. I just like went right back to the stages. No, but I'll check it out. Uh, well, I guess I'll do, we'll do that on camera. Why not? Otherwise, this episode's less than 10 minutes. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, I gotta find that place again. It's, uh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, let's do this. We did the flame. This is the rainstorm and nightmare frogs! I don't get it. Why does everyone make fun of me? They do know my rain flush pours acid rain down on the entire screen, right? Once it goes off, nothing can escape it. Yeah, but you don't actually have it go off. Did I just kill Eddie? Okay, I didn't. When I said nothing can escape rain flush, I meant it just completely ignores shields of all kinds.
Hey, if there's a big stack of cans or eggs blocking your way, try using Rain Flush to clear them out in one swoop. It even puts out fire like those deadly napalm mad flames down there. That is a lot of weapon energy. What is... Oh, it stops sand. Oh, but now you can't get those bolts down there. Oops, well... It's just frozen permanently. That's cool. Well, not cool. Can I turn the sand back on? Well, I don't even have any other weapons to attempt that. Oh, and that's the, uh, that's like Mega Man and Base where you have to destroy all those to consider it complete. Alright, cool. What is this? Spark Shock. A... Oh, by Spin Attacks. Okay. Hi there, the Spark Shock might not be able to hurt enemies, but just can freeze them for a few seconds. Then you can switch to another weapon and... Okay, well at least we can actually switch to another weapon and finish them off. Why did that take so many hits? Shielded enemies, looks like it's always keep you waiting, but if you zap them while their guard is down, then you can keep them waiting even longer. Okay. I know, it's just a demonstration. It's, it's Spark Shot. Oh. What do you have to say here? That big guy looks pretty tough. I know, try zapping it when it does a high jump and run under it. Why risk a fight when you can sneak past your enemy? Or just use it to freeze the enemy and shoot them. At least Spark Shot can do that. Can't be broken with the Spark Shot. You'll have to use something else. Good to know. These next few rooms have really tough enemies. I don't think your buster can even scratch them, so try zapping them and then run. Ew. Immunity to the... oh. Uh, maybe not jump into it, Mega Man. Slide and sit... oh. This is bad. You stop. At least we can also have more than one on screen at a time. Oh, I have to shoot that one through the uh, floor there. Alright, so Spark Shock is back. It's not that bad. Snake Man! Climbs up and can strike at enemies above you without jumping into the line of fire. Sneaky! Yep, so sneaky. Needs to be relax. Spark Man must have forgotten to fix the lights. Oh well. Use the Search Snake to find your way around this dark room. Can be used to find invisible platforms. We'll vanish if it's the ceiling. Yep. Spikes there. Uh, where are you? The search snake can crawl on them, no problem. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Go, snakes, go! Small firing arc, yep. Alright, that one is done. Next we have Rush Coil and Rush. Sorry, I just didn't have much to say. This is wrong on so many levels. Oh, that just got worse. <laughs> Rush Coil, man. <laughs> Isn't exactly a weapon, but it's helpful for the tight spots. Hard Man? What? No, I'm Rush Coil, man. I'm hurt you don't remember me. Could I have magnet? How dare you? <laughs> that actually cost a death. So I need to make the first here. Okay. Look familiar? You can also use Rush Coil to dodge enemy obstacles if timed right. Yes, we... That's Rush Jet. Oh, I didn't dodge it, and I got knocked back down. No, what did I just... I used a knee tank. Crap, I didn't want to use an E-tank. Rush will only appear under certain conditions. For example, you can't call him while sliding, or if Rush detects a ceiling below your height when you call him. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that properly at all. Unconsciously with the hammer Joe below, but unlike a certain lesser utility weapon, Magna Beam, uh, you can still use your Mega Buster with Rush Coil. It can even break special blocks from this form. In vertical areas, you can call Rush Coil at the peak of a jump if you to have him land so he's ready before your next jump. Alrighty. Checkpoint. Oh gosh. You got Rush- what, what is going on with your butt, Needle? <laughs> rush Jet Man. <laughs> Where Rush Coil helps in vertically focused platforming challenges, Rush Jet excels in horizontal challenges. You actually got Rush Jet from Needle Man in Mega Man 3. So you have to be careful about how you maneuver it. Needle Man? Simple, just use up and down keys to steer up and down. Think of it like a stick shift, okay. Show me. <laughs> and he's gone. We can also slow down by holding back. I can do this very poorly. Hey, I want that. Sometimes a corridor can be just shy of maneuvering with up and down. In that case, hold the opposite direction with rush, phasing and slow them down. Why can I not go up anymore? 
What was that a Like I wasn't able to go up after that. I don't understand. And this one was There we go. All right, we're halfway done. A little more than that. Concrete shot. Concrete man, hey, this tutorial's still under construction. Over. Don't tell me the deadline was pushed ahead to today. Make this work. You've got my concrete shot, don't you? It'll. It becomes a solid block once it's surfaced. Try using it to get over that wall. It'll be quick though. The block can't support your weight for long. Jump up there, Mega Man. A lot of damage to enemies and it's quicker than using charge shots, but if you kill small enemies with it, they won't drop any items, so you'd better use something else for your refills. Also be careful about making blocks. If three are on screen, you can't shoot more until one of them crumbles. I mean, what else is there to say? Is weapon tutorials. There's a neat trick. If you see a one-tile gap that's too high to slide through, try using the... Oh! That's neat. Of course, it's got to be spaced quite perfectly. Wait. That fill up kind of threw me off. Hey, Eddie, help me out. Thank you. I don't know if that is how that was intended, but, uh. Ow! That was how I did it. I think I should just... Oh, that's not... Yeah, that'll do. There's supposed to be a bridge here, but it's not been built yet. But hey, now you know how to cross spikes and dangerous jumps using blocks. Just be careful of where you fire from, the shots go in an arc. Yeah, that's why it's kind of tricky to use. These lasers are a pain. The concrete shot can block them off. Careful with the arc goes. I do like the... Oh, so the green blocks tell us where we're supposed to be shooting from. Magma beams? Were these even in the blueprint? You're not likely to run into these much, but if you do, you can freeze them with for a while with concrete shot. Normally, you'd then be able to shatter it with some kind of laser weapon. Well, it looks like you don't have one. Oh well. I'm thinking the force beam laser from the Make Good Mega Man level 2. Okay, well, I can't walk through it. Alright, well, that was kind of silly. Uh, silly just how fast that... 
I debate the accuracy of this. I heavily debate the accuracy of that. Why is it going underneath? Alright, fill me up, because that... That's... A little wild. Okay. I think how we're getting... No, we're not doing it that way. Why? That's where I wanted it. That's where I was trying. I, I don't know why it was so hard to do that. That was a little crazy. Love this music. Oh, it's Search Man. A fireproof bush. You peer in the bush. You see nothing of interest. I'll teach you about homing sniper. Not okay. Ouch. Hostile detected. I do not have a Mega Buster that I can fire. Where are you hiding? Is fireproof? I doubt that. Shoot, fire. Missiles aim at the nearest target. Watch your weapon energy. Why is my Mega Buster disabled? Yet it doesn't say it's just. Okay, whatever. Just using homing sniper here. I'm gonna run out of energy doing this. I'm hiding. Don't give away my position. You're in a bush indoors. A fireproof bush, but good point. Homing sniper, teach me more. Hold the fire button. Lock onto multiple targets or one target multiple times. Release to launch a deadly storm. So we can charge this in this game. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, you blew up my blocks. Okay. Both heads in unison. Not okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got really. Homing sniper is good for that. Targets almost anything that can be destroyed, but not indestructible blocks. They're indestructible. Anything else? Think before you shoot. What if the, what is the nearest target? What happens if you fire too much? Is anything in the way? Uh, yeah, that's... Ah, uh, I may have goofed. Alright, so we don't want to bring him down. We don't want to... Yeah, Mega Buster's been disabled for this. Okay, so it locks onto the thing that hasn't been locked onto yet. There we go. Alrighty then, only a couple more of these to go. Tengu Man! 
This is from the Mega Man N base version of this. Tango Blade's a multi-purpose weapon, so I'll break it down for you first. It creates a close-range slash that multi-hits enemies and pierces you. Nice. Try it out and don't disappoint. No, oh, I thought I was running into an enemy as a Tango Man. Tango Blade turns your slide into a dash that can damage enemies and make you immune to damage. Cross these spikes without dying. Or I'll always look down on you as a sad failure. Okay. You did it. Now do it again, but through these lasers. Even that blowhard Quick Man's favorite toys can't break the Tangu Blade's invincibility. Alright. That is a new feature. disc that flies upwards. It bounces off of walls too, so keep that in mind when hitting enemies out of your reach. Me, I just fly up and cut them apart, but I don't need some dog with rockets to fly, so... <laughs> yeah, that... that dash thing reminds me of Pluto. Uh, Pluto from Mega Man 5, his, uh, the, the weapon you get from him, the dash attack you get. And this is Saltwater from Neptune. Okay, well that's not happening. Shoots an arcing ball of water that splits into three smaller droplets. How's that for splash damage? Try shooting it from that orange to- oh, from the- yeah. Okay, yeah, I was doing that wrong. I like this music, too. Aim it up or down. By splashing it against a wall, you can hit things above you. You can't put out fires with it, though. You'll need rain flush for that. I'm just supposed to hold up while I'm there. I, maybe it's good that I'm doing these tutorials. Sure, maybe it's not that good at extinguishing fire-throwing enemies, but it rusts through enemy shields like no one's been- oh, okay. So it is also a shield-piercing weapon, that's interesting. I like how they've given some of these, like, new properties. There we go. Lieutenant Sink. Nice work. As your training is complete, as a reward, here's 100 volts. Don't spend them. Spend them or eat them, I don't care. Alright, I got the bolts. Let's actually take the bolts. I know we're like... This is kind of a longer episode because we did all of this. We're... This isn't... No, it's not. I don't think I have anyone else to help at this moment. Except maybe that guy. I'm seeing visions, realistic ones, as though I'm transported somewhere for a moment. Uh-huh. Clear the vision, however not all energy ones have... Okay. Yeah, 
Actually, we didn't talk to this guy either. Yeah, it is kind of a shame because I kind of spent an E-Tank accidentally. One of these is new. That's not new. Is it this one? No, not this one. Okay, maybe not. Alright, I'm looking for... I, I'm still not familiar with getting around it. Oh! So I can buy costumes. Where can I get lots of bolts? Reappearing enemies. Okay. I like the bright man lamp post there. Yeah, there, there's what I'm looking for. Wait, the one down there was on. That one was off. Okay, we have we have stuff. Beat roost. Beat fetch. I want that. What is this? Enhanced sensors? As if I want beat to attack bosses. Uh, let's home in on that. Yeah. Why? Why did I... It, I don't know. I don't know anything. I gotta hit that with Spark Shock. I don't have to hit that with Spark Shock. Let's see, that one's on. Alright, well with that, I'm going to end things off here, and next time we'll get back into the stages where we left off. So for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>